I am in love with your country. Because of the people. I am in awe of you. We love you so much. And we have to come back. This cannot be the last time I have to Rwanda. I'm so grateful for the government and leaders because we've been in countries where the government does not believe in God where there are witches that are in control and they were against the gospel and they were against people prospering and they were against people coming up and poverty so it's a breath of fresh air to be in a place where the gospel is welcomed because I know personally that the gospel Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the answer to the drug problem Jesus Christ is the answer to coming up out of poverty Jesus Christ is the answer to knowing how to love your neighbor as yourself Jesus Christ is the answer where the government and the people work together to lift the king of kings and the lord of lords Jesus Amen Hallelujah We've been in other towns here one specific town we got to bring in prostitutes from the streets women that are hurting and women that were broken you never know what people have gone through I know personally when people are hurt they don't know what to do but they don't want to feel the pain so people deal with it in a different way this is why many run to the streets this is why many run to drugs and alcohol because they don't know what to do and they want to numb the pain and make it go away but I'm telling you that that's not the answer I did that I tried to make the pain go away by drinking and doing drugs but it's a counterfeit it's a counterfeit for the glory of God you see we were made to feel something we were made to feel the very glory of God people drink, people do drugs so they can feel something but I found a better feeling and there is no high that compares to the presence of God once I met my Savior I experienced something way better than drugs and alcohol there was no hangover uh, there were no regrets the next day the prostitutes that we brought in we preach the gospel to the power of God fell on these women so much so 
that Jesus became real to them and they wanted to receive him and they wanted to lay down their sin they wanted to lay down being a prostitute 300 women this is something that they've learned to do to fend for themselves to be provided for but Jesus is our provider they made a decision to leave the sin behind and the shame behind and they met Jesus and it changed their lives in a moment I went through drug rehabilitation things our government tried to help me they have many programs but I was so hurt and I was so angry that no program would work but September 6th of 2005 I was put in jail again I've been in and, in and out of jail over 32 times. But on September 6th was the last time. September 22nd Jesus Christ himself Jesus himself came into my jail cell. I saw a man with eyes with flames of fire and that fire of God hit me and I chose to lay down my sin I chose to lay down the shame just one you will never be the same again. This is the answer to the drug problem. Just one touch of the glory of God and you'll never be the same. I know what it's like to try to quit. I know what it's like to try to quit. There's a spirit of addiction that grips you. And it's so hard to get it away. And it's so hard to get it away.
chase that spirit out. The spirit of God is here. And if you're hungry for him, if you're desperate for him, he will come and touch your life. And he will chase that spirit out of you. And he will fill you with his spirit. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you here tonight it's your first time to the crusade? Raise your Keep it raised. Wow. Keep it raised. Keep it raised. I just want to know who I'm talking to. We have seen incredible healings. We've seen incredible salvation. And God's not going to leave you out. He always saves the best for last. So you came on the right night. But you've got to get a heart that says, God, if anybody's going to get touched by you tonight, it's going to be me. Can we do that right now? Can we lift our hands to God? Lift your hands right now and cry out to Him. Say, God, oh, that's not very loud. Yeah, I'm God, Mana, touch me tonight. Heal me tonight. Deliver me tonight. And save me tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, you see these hearts. You see they're hungry. They're desperate for a touch from you. The problems that they came in with. I pray that they will leave without them. Those that need to be saved will be saved. And those that need to be delivered by the spirit of addiction will be delivered. Have your way. Have your way. Holy, Holy Spirit, even now. Hover over the crowd. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's still more people coming. Come, you matter. You are valuable to Jesus Christ. Your family is valuable to Jesus. Your life is precious to Him. Your life is precious to us. Come, come, come. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back over here. Can you look at me back over here? Maybe you didn't raise your hand, but you want to. I want to give you an opportunity right now. On the count of three. If you didn't raise your hand, but you want to. One, two, three. Come on, 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 come Come. Yes, young ladies, come. Yes, come. 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 If you didn't raise your hand, but you want to, 
You want to pray with us tonight? Yes, come, come, come. You're making the greatest decision of your life, young people. Let me speak to all the young people. Jesus Christ can keep you from doing what I what I ever did. Yes, so I saw what I could in the Kunya Muslim. Even your life to Jesus today can keep you from drugs. He will keep you from alcohol. He will keep you from alcohol. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. He will keep you from going to that sinful world. In fact, many of my friends never made it out of that lifestyle alive. I had nine friends die in one year. In one year, I had nine friends die. But as you receive him tonight, he's going to keep you. He's going to protect you. And he's going to deliver you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anybody in this section over here? Behind the gate. 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 Yes, yes, sir, I see you. Come, 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 I turn my back on sin. And I'm going to follow Jesus. Right here in this middle section. Behind the gate. You didn't raise your hand, but you want to. Raise it now. Yes, I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you, ma'am. Come. You didn't raise your hand, but you know in your heart. You know in your spirit. That you must respond. Tell him I'm going to be quiet. Come, 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 come. Raise your hand. Come, 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 come. 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 I feel in my spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Come, come. You can't see the man who's in the house. God bless you, young man. Queen, no, queen, no, queen, no, quiet. Come, come, come now. Queen, no. You know you need to come. Queen, no, tell him I'm busy. Don't play with.